He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the dugout. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. A little roller toward the hole. And the throw to first will take care of him, but it comes at a cost as the tying run is in to score. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. Ready for another shot now. J.D. Martinez. Bases empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they can't run it down. Hit on the ground to short. On to first and there were two down. Third baseman number 15. Kyle Trying Seeger. to pick things up where we left off. Kyle Seeger. He comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. Into the windup and the pitch. This is pulled into right. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Striding in once again, Devin Travis. And this Leading off for Toronto, second baseman. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2-0. 2-0 pitch on the way. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to 2-1 now. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3-2. and two. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. The batter, number one. Shortstop, Carlos Correa. Your attention, please. So a new pitcher is set now to take over now, and here he is, number the fireballing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. Chapman. Here's the first pitch to him. Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0-1. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And this is swung on and missed to our quickly retired to start inning number eight. The main job of the number one and two hitters is First to set the middle of the order ten. up with an Edwin and Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And now this is foul tipped at the plate and that appeared to catch a lot of the home plate umpire in the process. Hope he's all right down there. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. 1, 2, 3, go the Blue Jays. This remains a five all ball. Ready once again, Ken Griffey Jr. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, Mariners. not his game so far. Center He's such fielder. a good hitter. We all Ken kind of expect Griffey him to pick up two Jr. or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Line hard toward right center. And there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go-ahead run. 
And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Giancarlo Stanton now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Hey, what's that saying? You play to win the game? Well, that was a big roll of the dice to steal third. But it looks pretty genius now that it worked out. Now they just need to execute at the plate and get that go-ahead run home. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. on the ground towards short. Correa fields it cleanly. No problem here. One away. The first baseman, number Here's the five, first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Been a rough Freeman. go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. He's set and the pitch. And that jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Skied into straightaway right. Cruz moves over. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Hey, putting together good at bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Here's Corey Seager. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Into the windup and the pitch. Uh, started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. the pitch hit hard back up the middle and that gets through so he'll have his first base hit and make him one for four in the game now so the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit the catcher number three stepping Mike. up to the plate Camino. Mike Zanino Your he was a ground out victim last time up Gene Segura will come number on two. now and pinch run here Gene. Now a move over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Segura runs. Pitch inside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Pitch swung on and missed. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Hey, one of the keys to stealing third is to get a big lead off a second, and that's just what happened, even though this catcher has a cannon for an arm. A man on third with two down. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. M's pick up a run on two hits. Ninth inning coming up. The Mariners are ready to start the ninth as we get a stunning shot there of the Seattle skyline on a great night for baseball. Gene Segura this will stay in the, the ball Bears. game as a new shortstop. Playing shortstop. Edwin Diaz comes on from the pen hoping to finish Arizona. this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 39. Edwin Here's the third baseman Josh Donaldson. Three at-bats for him in this one all ending with him going down on strikes. 
Third baseman. Ninth inning underway yeah. now as the first Thomas pitch is Thomas. taken for a cold strike. Well, he got that first pitch, got him looking right there. With a the star hitter like this guy, it is always good to get ahead in the count. And that misses one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home plate. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Josh Donaldson becomes the first out in the ninth inning. Stepping into the box, Johnny Bench. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Bases are empty, one man in. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Ball three as he misses low with it here. On deck, there you see Troy Tulowitzki. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And Tulowitzki can't come up with that one as he falls behind 0-2 now. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. You can throw him anything you want. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Troy Tulowitzki goes down for the second out, and now they're down to their final try. Nelson Cruz is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Comes set and the 0 1. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. So the Blue Jays are down to their final strike now. Goodness gracious, Matt. 100 miles an hour. No wonder he swung and missed. You're not catching up to that pitch. No way. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw on to first to be in time to get him. And the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end, 6-5 to five the final. The Seattle Mariners, with their 101st win of the year, tops in the division. Aroldis Chapman gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Edwin Diaz wraps it up for the save his 42nd. So that's a wrap here tonight from my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Tonight. Good night First everybody. For the victorious Seattle Mariners. Six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Blue Jays, five runs, six hits, no errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 27 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.